JBL boombox won't turn on. What's wrong? We have uh, 20 volts on the DC jack connector on the external power supply. Must be in the unit. Upside down we have a seam kind of like on the portable uh, units, the, the smaller Coke can size units. Just uh, pry in there and we see one side comes up and there's a couple of screws holding the other top edge there down. So I'll get those out. And repeat on side B. Now if we pull, appears to have some double sided tape, I think. So there's clips along here. You might be able to use a spudger to assist, but uh, here we go. And that's just going to fold up and off the unit. See it's coming around and uh, up off the top buttons there. We uh, separate this half. Maybe it'll give a bit better. Just get your spudger along this edge and pry outwards and it pops up off the clips there as well. It does seem to be getting stuck up in the handle area. So I'm wondering if we're supposed to remove the handle now. Because with that flexed up out the way, you can see screws around the um, around the back of the speaker. Well, <laughs> it's not really a speaker, just a side cover, but yeah, you know, get the idea. And it looks like if under those, then the handle section will probably come off. Sometimes it's just easier to watch someone else do it, because I was never going to guess, guess this part. You have to put it upright like this push down on it and rotate it anti-clockwise slightly and it actually causes the uh, end ring to come off it locks rotates to lock in so yeah <laughs> never would have guessed that it didn't look like a piece that could rotate it looked formed to an odd shape of the case but there you go so now we have some screws around here we need to remove on both sides so, with them out, looks like we just pull this out and lift the handle off. Our grill should come off now. There we go. Looks like the way in is now to remove the speakers. And the control panel has uh, its own set of screws around the edge here may have to come off as well but we're just trying to get an idea as to what the problem is so we know how much of it to pull apart actually I'm probably completely wrong about taking the speakers out there are screws here and here and further round it looks like this whole end section will come off so that would give us a lot more access room than the speakers itself and they've probably got a seal under them as well that would be better to not disturb so I might leave them in for now and go for the end piece because if anything has to come out it's going to have to come out through a larger opening than the speakers I'm thinking. Now there may be some uh, wires holding this tweeter on but uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So there are a couple of wires. The tweeter attaches to here and then there's a microphone which attaches to there. Well, I won't be able to work on the board in there, and I can't really pull it out either. But I have just noticed something. Well, strong magnet. <laughs> Look at this. There is a white connector, and it's uh, completely unplugged. I wonder where that goes. I bet it goes to the control panel. This doesn't appear, I thought this might be fully portable, but there's no sign of a battery, so uh, it does only run on uh, on um, the, the, the mains adapter. Well, that'd be nice if it's just a plug. Well, I thought it was heavy. It appears that there's a battery built into the bottom, uh, the main foot that this sits on. And that connector that's unplugged looks like it goes to the battery. 
So whether it has to have a battery plugged in in order to work, um, I don't know. But the fact that it's unplugged, someone else has been in here, haven't they? The plot thickens. So as I was saying, I won't have to take those side speakers out to get the um, main board out because the screws, you have to go through the speaker holes to undo. So here we go. And I just had to get my tongue at the right angle to get the probes on that connector and the battery is sitting at 7.7 .7 volts. So I thought I'd plug the battery in and then plug the power adapter in and we'll see what happens. It turned on. We have a power light. Well that's interesting. I wonder if someone's trying to pull a fast one. Obviously the board won't turn on without a battery, just off main supply, but why would someone unplug it? Unless it was dropped and it just managed to pop off perhaps. That's really interesting. Okay, well let's see if I can play something. Well, what's wrong with this then? Who knows? Maybe it just got dropped and the plug fell out. Quite easy to do if it wasn't seated properly to start with from the factory, I suppose. Or if it's had a few knocks. It, uh, it could be a little bit of tension, the way it sits, but uh, I don't know. I think it's all right. Oh, well, we'll throw it all back together, I guess. But I will just check first if I can get a probe in there, see if the battery is charging. Okay, there we go. 8 volts. Well, that's above the 7.7 .7 we had. So, I'm going to have to say it's charging. Albeit, maybe slowly. Unless, of course, that's the actual fault. I found the blinking lights! And if you go by that, the last one's flashing. So, maybe, maybe 8, 9 volts is maximum... On the pack, I don't really know what sort of pack they run. It could be that it's uh, almost fully charged. I did stick my finger on the board and I found a spot that was kind of warm. So it wasn't too hot to touch like there's a problem. Um, I want to call it done. Well, it was easy. Kind of boring. But now you know how to get one open. Those uh, speaker ends. Who would have thought? Given the state of that badge, with some fairly serious gouging in it, I'm going to say that having been dropped is exactly what happened to this. So the end caps that come off, they kind of, they, they rotate and come down as they lock into place. So they, they do lift out slightly when you're turning it. So I guess if you lean on it too hard, you won't allow it to rise up. But it's uh, just going to have to be rotated clockwise in there to lock it back in. Well, if nothing else, that's how to open a JBL boombox. Thanks for watching.